Here we have a model and we have created a couple of toolpaths, a roughing and a finishing Z level and planer. Uh, we want to remachine where the cutter couldn't reach material due to cutter size. So we open up the simulator run the simulation for the toolpaths we have made. Now we want to do the remachining and we want to select a smaller cutter and only cut where the material remains and this is around the sharp corners between the surfaces. So close down the simulator we can hide the toolpaths, select a new cutter and we will choose a 3mm ball end. We could set 200mm for tolerance, click OK. Select Z level finishing and we click in the remachining option. We can change to a smaller step down click OK and now MADCAM asks how much material to cut. It shouldn't be less than 500 mm I think. OK, start the remachining calculation. And MADCAM uh, is able to use every 3D strategy for the remachine. Okay, what we see here is that it MADCAM did great Z-level finishing only at the regions where it remains material. So we can follow up with the planar finishing. Just select the planar finishing and we change the step over to the same as the step down for the Z-leveling. Click OK and there you have the planar finishing. Okay, let's take a look in the simulator. And here we can see it will only cut where it remains material. Okay, that's how the remachining works. Thank you very much.